Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I had a few thoughts about um, uh, about the current economy in Los Angeles and like that, also in Colorado and, and New Mexico. I was watching the roads being scraped up in preparation for being repaved today here in Los Angeles. And I wonder if the scrabble that scraped up from the roads uh, might be used on dirt roads to improve them. So that would save on landfill expenses and landfills and uh, it would also improve the dirt roads that in the outlying areas if, uh, if, uh, if it's not toxic and doesn't cause too much problems. I feel this is worth looking into. And also I'm thinking other large landfill issues. Um, if there are items that are being used for landfill a lot, let's look into ways to recycle them and use them to improve our lives here in Los Angeles. Mm, for instance, uh, the thrift stores such as Goodwill and Salvation Army, I think, uh, take substandard clothes and, and send them, ship them off to other countries. But yet we have a, a great uh, problem with homeless people here in Los Angeles. Why not use those clothes for the homeless here in, in, Los, in the Los Angeles area? And why not uh, use the fabric that's otherwise unusable to make blankets for the homeless? Also with regard to the homeless, I think, uh, that I've, no, I, I've read that there are ho many homeless people that aren't eligible for health care, such as HIV uh, care and uh, hepatitis care and all the different kinds of uh, infectious diseases. My feeling is that those uh, that aren't eligible because of, say, citizenship or whatever, um, are most likely uh, in danger of in infecting the, the homeless people who do have health care uh, here in the Los Angeles area. I think there's 6,000 of them here in the San Fernando Valley, 60,000 in Los Angeles, and probably um, many more. The cost to us in the long term uh, is great for not, not uh, providing health care um, to, to those, uh, say, aliens and so forth that, that don't qualify because, because they, they're living with other homeless people who do get health care and those people get sicker. Um, also, I feel it's vitally important right now, I was talking to a friend about this and I agree, uh, that the homeless here in the San Fernando Valley have centers available. Small local centers would be best, but even one center or two centers would be good in the San Fernando Valley that uh, help people to get back on their feet by providing information about shelters, of which I feel there are very few, but also especially jobs and uh, substance abuse um, um, programs and so forth. Um, so I think that counseling is a, is a major and perhaps overlooked issue here in Los Angeles, counseling for the homeless. Also, I had one other thought regarding the economy all over the United States and the issue of illegal aliens. Um, here in Los Angeles, here in the outlying areas in the farming communities and so forth, there's a tendency to hire aliens because their labor is cheaper, right? Well, I was thinking this over uh, the other night and it occurred to me that uh, that the money that we're paying uh, as United States citizens, the taxes that we're paying that help support uh, the indigenous uh, homeless population and from which often this labor is drawn, uh, these taxes that we pay for welfare and so forth for these people are increasing the burden of, of, of expense of the employer, of the employers, those who employ the homeless, and of everyone else. And so uh, our, our salaries go not as far as they used to. And in addition, products have increased in price, maybe because of this, because we're supporting because basically we're paying for cheap labor 
and the, there's a hidden cost. And one of the hidden costs is the taxes that we pay for the welfare of the people that that have that aren't paying into taxes. In other, other words, this whole population of is not paying into taxes, and yet our tax dollars are helping to support them in terms of, of health and housing and so forth. So there's a hidden cost. So why not hire locally people who are citizens instead? The thing is that uh, overall, this country is based on the notion that most people will get jobs and will pull their own weight and contribute to the economy, you see, and pay taxes and so forth, so that those smaller percentage of people who are down on their luck and can't get work for a while will get, will be able to get by. And for instance, mothers will have enough milk for their children and uh, through the milk program. And uh, so old, older people who don't have a safety net uh, financially, they will also have a minimum amount that they can get by with. So, so the whole notion that, um, that most of the people in this country will pull their own weight financially and will provide taxes is critical to our situation right now. Uh, what we have is we have an influx of people, many, many people, who, don't, who aren't in a position to pull their own weight. And so taxes go up. And so more people come in who are willing to work for very little because they're not paying taxes. And then the people that, that attain citizenship during this process, they begin to bear the burden of and begin to see uh, the, tr the trouble that's caused by the, the people who are immigrating illegally into this country. Um, we're in a spiral right now of higher and higher prices of goods, and very few people are able to afford very much. The water, the utilities, the electricity are going up here in Los Angeles immensely as well. So, so we need to look at sustainable living. We need to step out of the system insofar as possible, make friends with our neighbors, and, and try and get by with a lot less, just as was done in, in the days of my grandparents, that's what I think. And in the meantime, I feel that those people who have entered the country and attained citizenship will become aware of and their attitudes will shift with regard to uh, illegal immigration into the country. I, I hope that's the case anyway.